Okay guys, so this video is part of a series of what we call the Decade Series, where we started in the 1960s and are going all the way to today, 2023. Every decade we've changed equipment, changed farms, locations, all that, and today we're finally to the present day time, which means we can buy brand new tractors, brand new trucks, all sorts of stuff. Currently, right now, we have $557,000, as you see in the upper right-hand corner. We made a lot of money last year. Commodity prices were good. We were rolling in the corn. Corn yields were, you know, 240, 250. Really solid for this area. One way we can get around taxes is by buying equipment and trucks, stuff like that. So, plan is, is to head down to the local truck dealership. They have some brand new 2023 trucks, and we're gonna try buying one. We're not gonna trade in a truck, because we need to actually kind of spend a lot of money. Now, in reality, guys, it's a lot smarter just to save your money, pay the taxes, and keep investing that money somehow. But a lot of farmers like to buy a lot of stuff in December after they made a lot of money. So that's what we're going to do. Now, currently for equipment, check this out. We'll probably be getting some new tractors. Some of these tractors will stay. We got the 8410, John Deere 8410. We bought this back in the 90s, brand new. We have a Case Magnum 8950. Again, we bought this I think a year or two old. I don't think it was bought brand new. 9630T, we did buy that used. 9530 we bought used. Combine we bought used. And Farmall, we bought brand new. And the 4020 we bought used. Most of this equipment's gonna stay. Some of it will get new. I don't know, maybe get an NRX or something, but I really like these these 30 series, big 9000 series tractors. So we'll probably run one of them on a planter, honestly, and just upgrade our plant equipment. So we currently have the 72 F250, and then we have the 05 F250. Now I'm hoping to keep these, and we'll get a 2023 Ford Chevy Dodge, we'll, we'll see. But before we do that, we got to truck a load of grain over to the elevator. I'm basically taking a load a day over to the elevator and selling grain, because we got way too much grain on hand right now. We'll get the old Kenworth fired up, and load some grain and hit the road. Gold start, come on. Easy. Rear tires are a little dirty, but it's a working truck. We keep her dirty. Now we still have like 400,000 liters, which I don't know how many bushels that is, but for some reason it always says liters in here. I, I, I honestly hate this liter crap. Like we need to have everything in bushels. It'd be nice. And loading corn up. So we have 300,000 liters. This will probably hold like, oh, that's awkward. But this will probably hold like 100,000 liters in the semi. It holds a lot. Okay, and we are full. We currently have a load of 5,600 bushels, which is unrealistic. It's too many bushels. Legally, you can only haul like 1,000 or 1,100 bushels in a semi. But for farmerson purposes, we are hauling a little more. I did not edit this mod. It came this way, so we're going to use it like this. Okay, so we're here at Suncor Energy. It's an ethanol plant, and they have some pretty good basis. So we're going to get weighed in and sell this corn. And we should get some pretty good money. Okay, so we got our grain sold. We got about $240,000 from that load because we hold so many bushels in at once. We got like a three mile drive back home. I guess I'll turn on the radio here. Are you tired of your old uh, used Not this car? guy again. Do you want to get Son something new that you're going to be able to be excited about, get ready to drive and have a great day? Well, if you have good credit, bad credit, no credit at all, just cross the bridge two miles east of Gregor, Iowa at Big Nake Tractor and Auto Outlets. We have brand new cars, brand new trucks, a full lot of pre-certified used cars, all at your convenience, also offering tractors and small utility vehicles for your agriculture needs. So be sure to stop by at Big Nate's Tractor and Auto Outlets, two miles southwest of McGregor, Iowa. We'll see you there. Well, that was perfect time, and I guess we're heading down to Big Nate's. It, it sounded like I knew that guy on the radio, though. I felt like I know that guy from somewhere. We're gonna get this in my part, jump in the truck, and head down to Big Nate's. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Buck just pulled in in front of us. Gosh, it's tough to find a parking spot around here, right, Buck? Gosh, dang. What are you here for? Just to bid me up? No, I got a ad thing I do with them with the radio. They have a slightly different skit they need me to do this time. That was you? Yeah. I took. I said I'd get a deal on this truck if I could get it, if I could do that for him. I knew I knew you from somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just heard you on the radio like 10 seconds ago, or something like that. Really? Well, a minute ago. I think that's ago the ad that I hated that looked weird. Yeah. Well, it sounded weird. Gosh dang. You've been doing that on the side? Oh, yeah. I find ways in case things crash, I have a way to make some extra money. Is this Big Nate? Ah, welcome, welcome, welcome. How we doing? Oh, Bought a truck from you like, what was it, 20 years ago? Right, Buck? Something like that, 20 years ago? Yeah. yeah. The place has changed. You've been, you've been doing good for yourself, it looks like. 
Oh yeah, we've been putting a lot of work in and doing a lot of different stuff. We upgraded the building, of course, which I'm really glad about that. Not, not much inventory. No, we just got this finished building, so we don't have a whole lot of inventory. We, we're glad we got what we got, though. Okay, it's probably just a negotiating tactic. You probably got all the rest of the cars in the back just acting like, oh, this is my last truck. I see how it is. I wish that was the case, but all right. Have you not seen how hard it is to buy a vehicle nowadays? Oh, oh, don't give me that. Don't give me that. I've seen them at other dealerships here. I've seen them. I know I know the first move. The sa I've read the salesman rule book before. So what are you uh, looking for today? Look for a brand new one. And a lot of these look used. Nothing wrong with used, but we need to spend some money. So, looking for a brand new farm truck. Brand new? Uh, let's see. This looks like some awesome farmer type stuff right here. Some crazy exotic lifted truck. I mean, this this hitch is just for looks. Look at it. This right here is probably a newer. We do have two newer trucks in this one, but this is newer. This one does run you about 60,000 right now. And this is, I believe, a 2017. Not bad. How many miles are on it? Should be about 100,000. 100, 100,000? 100, Gosh, it's not yeah. a bad truck oh. and stuff. Ooh, what year did you just call that? That's an 08. Austin Farmer had to have sold you this thing. Holy Toledo, uh, man. No, this is a, came from a boy down in the south that came over here to get one of the trucks we had. So, actually, he came to get a truck and a car. You remember that uh, 69 Dodge Charger I was going to say? Yeah. He ended up picking that up with a truck. Okay. I mean, they're cool and they look good. It's just, I don't want to own it. I'd rather just look at somebody else's while it's on the road driving, you know? Now, this right here is more of my style and probably what you're looking for. This is a 2020 F450. I'm more of a stock guy, man. I'm just no no offense. These look great. Well, it's got the heated great. tailgate on you there for you, Grant. It's perfect for you. Dude, no way. It gives you the option to put the step thing out. Oh my gosh. There you go, Buck. You'll need it with a lifted truck. No thanks. Sorry, bud. Come on, man. You gotta buy it now. Yeah, here's the thing. I see that word platinum on the back and all I see is overpriced piece of aluminum. It's ah. only ninety thousand? Well, what is this uh, over here? 20, this is 2023? Yeah, now this is the 2023. We just got it zero miles on, well, eight miles technically, but as close as you can get to brand new right here. Hold up. Who decided to put the 18 inch rims on this thing? It says these are 16 inch rims if the tire's right. 16 inch rims. Okay, well, we can do a little tire swapping. That's no problem. I just don't know about the new look. It's, it's interesting. It's interesting. Very interesting, the new look. Buck, what are you thinking? Looks like a USB charging port. <laughs> Gosh, why'd you say that? Now I got it stuck in my head. Okay. I think it's one of those things, once you buy it, you get used to it. You eventually get used to it after they come out. Well, they better have different options for grills, I'll tell you that much. Well, Nate, what do you got priced at? I need to spend some money. Alrighty, so go ahead and turn that key ignition on right there. There's no key. There's no yeah, there is. There'd be a key. Push. It's key. Take your key fob, push your brake, and press the button. Gosh, I hate that stuff. I like the old days. I thought you could read. I like the old days when it's just... Turn the key and go. What do you mean a key? Yeah. We started those things with screwdrivers. True. I was about to say, we did it with screwdrivers. I'm not used to all this fancy new stuff on it, okay? What is that, 10 so, inch you, display up there? This yeah, is nice. You, can watch you this. boys enjoy doing that. I'm going to take, uh, I got to go to the gas station quick, so. Okay. Yeah. I got to enjoy my already paid for pickup. It yeah. didn't cost me an arm and a leg. I was going to say, I got to spend some money. I made a little too much money at the tractor pull last week. So this tree right here, you can play the Super Bowl on it. You can get TV. It has Sirius XM on it. You get a year of that free. It's got heated rear seats. Oh yeah, heated rear Tilt seats. Tilt options, massaging seats. Not massaging. Nope. nope they don't. Nope. You kidding me? The King Ranch does not have massaging seats? Nope. No, nope, We don't like you that much. It's got the 670 diesel. Should be able to smoke a GMC. That's coming up on my right. Come on, Nate. This is it doesn't have power. I'm full throttle. I'm pedal to the metal. Hey, don't blame me. We bought this from the Ford dealership. Don't you talk to me about this. Won't you call the Ford, local Ford manufacturer and talk to them about it? There we go. Well, we finally got him on the top end. I don't think he knew you were racing you at that point. <laughs> no, this tells you that. Well, Nate, how much is this going to cost me? An arm and three legs? An arm and four legs. It is ah. going to cost you $82,000, not including tax. Okay, so with the after taxes, probably talking 90, 90K or so. Yes, sir. You got yourself a and deal. Are you, are you going to want it delivered? No, I'll just take it off the lot. That'll work good. Okay. Let's you do want some your paper. other truck delivered? Yeah, if you could bring that back, follow me back with it. That'll work good. All right, that's going to cost you another five grand. All right. What? 
Hey, you're paying love premium, you. buddy. Okay, okay. Well, I don't want it delivered. I'll come back for it. We'll find a way. All right, and let me get on my Apex Gaming PC that we used uh, Code Squad for. So let me get in here. <laughs> oh, I thought we were using Code Farmer. <laughs> what? What did you say? I didn't hear you. <laughs> I yeah, thought I said there. code farmer, F-A-M-E-R. <laughs> yeah, I'm printing out the documents now. Hey, Buck, you want to lose some more money? Want to go back to the tug of war area? I mean, I'm willing to put your money where your mouth is. Oh, what are we talking? 2K, 3K? I need to pay for this truck somehow. Well, you must should have thought about that from Wells Fargo before you decided to drop half of your life savings on it. We turned the lights on. Do you know how expensive that is? We have natural light here. All right, sign here on the dotted line, and it'll be all yours. There you go. Alrighty, now since you, we got the check now, and we'll go ahead and cash it in a few days. Okay, so how much are we talking? You actually want to do this then? How much are we talking? I'll 5K on it. 5K? 5K on Tug of War versus this little crap box? Yeah. You got yourself a bet, Buck. Alright, bet. Where are we doing it? I don't really care. Dealership lot? Dealership lot. Okay, you got yourself a deal. What boy's talking about 5K out here? 5K on it, 5K. We're going to basically, hey. we're pretty much just going to be laying uh, rubber tire marks in the middle of your yard. Yeah, you got just, a tow rope at all? Just look away. Yeah. Look, there's another yeah, customer over there. I'll, I'll supply the tow rope. We got that for you. Oh, <laughs> he's down for it. Okay. I didn't think he was going to be down. Okay, Buck. We'll see what that color. little GMC has. Neat. If I get beat by Buck, this is going to be a disgrace. disgrace to four. I know. I know, but I know that Chevy's going to win, so I have no faith in you. Well, you just sold me a one run diesel <laughs> truck. You're saying I'm going to get beat? <laughs> Listen, uh, last time I put money on you for winning against Buck in a race or any kind, I've learned quit. Okay, just, Nate. Just, Nate, how much? How much? How much? You you on Buck's side? How much you want to bet? I'm on Buck. Mm, five grand. So here's the deal. 5K against Buck and 5K bet against Nate. If we win this, we get 10K. If we lose this, we got to pay out 10K. Best two out of three? Yeah. I'm good. Okay. All right. Ready? Yep. Steady. Pull. <laughs> oh yes! Oh my gosh! I shouldn't even be celebrating because we should. This should be an easy win, but I was nervous as heck. Here we go. <laughs> you gonna do anything trickier than that? Now would be the time to do it, bud. <laughs> I can't even pull up static still. <laughs> this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do double or nothing. Okay, we're gonna do double or nothing. But this gives you the option. To buy, to get a three-quarter ton or one-ton GMC truck. So, oh, he's just already paying up. So you can, if you want to go back and grab your dealer truck, you can do that. But it'll be double or nothing. So if I win again, then you owe me ten grand. If you win, you owe me nothing. Hold on, can I take that truck? Can I take that bet? I'll yep, take that you bet. can take that bet too. All right. But I keep your five grand. I'm joking. I ain't taking this truck though. <laughs> no, no, right. no. It's got to be like a three quarter no, ton. No, you or said one a truck. You I said, said a three truck. quarter ton or one ton. I'll go get a truck. While we're waiting on him to go do that, you want to look at this planer over here? Yeah. It's a brand new one. Not one bit of seed has been ran through yet. It is a 24. Early rise Case IH. Beautiful planter. Brand I might be, new. Too. I might be interested in some point on this. I really might be interested. Comes with a perfect little tractor with it. It's a little dual gig we're doing. And cool. we're only charging, uh, we're only charging 200 grand for the entire deal. Okay, well, you probably sold me unless there's something crazy wrong here, because that is pretty cheap. Okay, this is double or nothing. So we have nothing to lose here because we're already up. Oh my gosh, I thought this was gonna be GMC, not a Ram. No, this is one of the dealer trucks. Okay. Well, ours dealer service trucks. Here we go. Ready? All or nothing. Set. Pull. God, hold on, hold on, hold on, dude. You have way too much of a delay there. Ready, set, pull. Come on. No. No. Oh, we what got was him. that whole thing? We got him. We got him. I didn't I just stopped turning the wheels. Oh, my gosh, dude. Ready, set, pull. Come on. Uh, we got beat. Okay, well, we... We won one against a half ton, but then we lost one against Buck's Ram. And I was kind of expecting that against the Ram. So we broke even, basically. We didn't lose any money or make any money, but we got a truck and we're heading home. And this is going to be the new farm truck for the 2023 series. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. And hey, we'll see you in the next one.